Hey Gemini, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Happy Saturday. I hope y'all are doing amazing Gemini Collective. I've been neglecting y'all all week, so I'm like, let me do a Gemini reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the rose if you need to. It could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you I'm picking up on. Let's start with these cards here. Pull three cards for you and see what's going on in your reading. Okay, wait a minute. Can't take all those. Let's try this again. <laughs> Let's try it again. Three cards, please, Spirit, for Gemini. Okay, let's see. Three cards. Thank you. We have courage. This is the strength card. This is Leo energy. It has something to do with the Leo, or you could just be embodying that strength energy, okay? Self-control, discipline, taming the wild beast inside of you. Also, divine feminine energy shows up in that card traditionally. The lion is the only one showing up in that card right now, so you could be feeling like beast the mode, okay? <laughs> we have commitment. Mm. This is just, it feels to me, it could be a relationship, but it feels like seeing something through. There is a soul tie here between these two birds, and there is one that's white. I guess it's a dove and then there's one that's brown i don't know what that is i know that um doves and uh what's the bird that that's not seen as pure and beautiful just because it's not white um a pigeon i think a pigeon and a uh, dove are actually the same bird we have closure okay so this could be a relationship that has ended and you're really fighting your way through um this feels like a long-term thing though it does it feels like a situation where it's like okay i have to get used to my new normal now what's at the bottom of the deck empowerment yeah so you have the strength the courage the empowerment the whatever the fortitude to be able to do whatever this is but it feels like you're walking alone for the first time in a long time it's just what i hear okay so you could have recently broken up with someone. This could be someone you're married to or just a long-term relationship. It could even be a friends with benefits situation. Something that's been going on for a while. It does not feel like it's new. It could be an interracial couple with the birds being different colors here. Okay, what is courage? Courage is the box. Thinking outside of the box, coming out of the box. The box to me um, always gives me like a home. Okay, so maybe you're moving out of a home. We have number 44. Yeah, 44 is the number four is about people, places, mindsets, things. OK, structures, foundations could definitely represent the home. The number four does represent heart and home. OK, what is commitment? So it feels like a commitment is either coming in or it's ended or maybe even both. Maybe you're ending one, starting a new one. So we have here the stone. Yeah. You could be dealing with somebody who's very cold. Could be another air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini here. So I'm um, seeing the number 67. Could be someone's age or birth year. Hmm. It's like you got to the heart of something. I feel like somebody's heart is cold. They got the ice box where their heart used to be. That's what I'm hearing. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I feel like somebody has an ice box for a heart. What's a Marion sign? I can't remember. Why do I want to say Virgo or Aquarius or something like that? I can't remember, but... You know, Omarion had us fooled. Come to find out, he got some narcissistic traits. We thought he was just unbothered, but he really, he was showing some narcissistic traits a couple of times. Um, when they did that eating the watermelon thing, you know, around that period when they did the verses, people started to see through him. I never jump on anybody's bandwagon. People are people. You know what I'm saying? People are like, oh, he's so cool. She, look, you don't know that person? What's closure? So some of you, that could be what's happening with you. You started to see through them. Yeah, it's about love. We have Eros. This talks about desire, erotic love, Cupid, and sexual love. Mm-hmm. This person has a diamond in their mouth. Those are a set of lips around a diamond. So this could definitely be a marriage or something here. Somebody that you once desired a lot. There's a lot of fire in this card as well as the courage card. Could be a Leo. Could be a Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, a fixed sign. Could be a cancer, bottom of the deck, or you could be on a Gemini. What is a Gemini cancer cusp? We have the thread. Yeah, connection link is showing up here with the number 70. Could be your age or the year somebody was born. Let's see what's going on. What's the box? 
The box is a position of authority and power. This is an Aries for some of you. Or some of you have taken a position of power. You've made a decision. The sword is down in the ground, meaning the decision has been made, okay? I feel like you're also very protected. Archangel Michael, I'm picking up from that Aquarius energy. Okay, this could have something to do with a father figure or your divine masculine, somebody you thought was your, was your divine masculine, a husband, a baby daddy, okay? Yeah, it feels like you're breaking free from somebody else's power here. Coming out of this box. What's commitment? Cult. With the stone. Ooh. Group living. Cult. Hmm. So somebody here is either witch or warlock. <clears throat> They're part of a cult, a coven. Wow. So this person, this, this is something that runs in their family here. Some of you married into a really sinister family, and I feel like you're breaking free. I feel like I just hear burn this down. Y'all know that club song. I'm from Baltimore. So, um, but I don't know if it says burn this S H I T down or burn this H O U S E. I'm not going to say those words together because I don't want to set off, set off the, uh, you know, the little system here. But yeah, it feels like, um, Somebody has really turned you off. And I see why they're so cold. With the stone here, somebody could be into, I don't know, using crystals in a sinister way or something like that. I don't know. But this person is a part of, part of a cult. Or there are a group of people around them that could have orchestrated whatever the problem is between you two. Yeah, we have watcher or guardian with extraterrestrial enclosure. They could have had people watching you. I feel like you might have been in a situation with somebody very possessive, domineering, controlling. Somebody wanted to keep you captive because this is a watcher spirit. Now, obviously, this could be a guardian watching over you. This could be a positive thing. But I feel like some of you were involved with somebody who um, there was more than met the eye with this person. Bottom of the deck, we have Cowboy Wild West. Okay, yeah, this person was like a loose cannon, a free spirit. Hmm. Let's pull some tarot. Show me what courage is with the box. So again, coming out of your comfort zone is important right now. Taking your power back, taking your control over the situation because somebody has been abusing their power here. We have Wheel of Fortune. God has healed, okay? Healing. Heal all, heals all disorders, protects travelers and medical workers. Some of you could work in a medical profession. This is Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Energy. Gemini. So this is the universe being on your side here. This is the positive turning point. It talks about being on a winning streak, accepting what God allows, going with the flow, trusting the process, okay? Riding the wave, rolling with the punches. What's the power of, I'm sorry, position of authority? Somebody here trying to either keep you captive and stop your power by, you know, Wielding their power over you or you taking your power back. We have the Queen of Swords. There you go. Putting your foot down. This is you. I mean, it's Libra energy, but it also is Aquarius and Gemini energy. Air sign energy. God, the hope of all the earth. Number 38. Okay. Um, we have ritual and ceremony. Mm. Can acquire all of the treasures of heaven and earth. So the Queen of Swords can be an authority figure. She can represent law enforcement, a judge, a lawyer, somebody in a position of power, a decision maker. Okay, I feel like you're the decision maker. I feel like your boundaries are strong now. I feel like you're very guarded and protecting yourself and being very head over heart. I feel like the changes you've been through with someone has forced you to be that way. Because the Wheel of Fortune does talk about being tested, okay? But it looks like you are asserting yourself. The Queen of Swords is assertive. She's analytical. Um, she's a very discerning mind and spirit okay and she's a no-nonsense person who gets what she wants so you have a lot a lot of determination around you somebody might be thinking you acting like a b-i-t-c-h here because you're taking your power back and you're not playing with them anymore and i know that's right what's the stone of commitment the nine of pentacles okay this is my card of like i, I, I could do better by myself well, I could do bad all by myself. I don't need you for that. This is a very independent, self-sufficient card. The omniscient God, number 33, which is the Jesus number, okay? Virgo energy is showing up here. It says submission to a higher order. Y'all, I don't look. 
um, identifies the traitors and destroys their plans. So look, the cult, their plans are being destroyed. I know that's right. I like these little cards. These are um, Archangel Tarot cards. Because I like that I can mix the actual meaning with whatever they have written here. I wish I could pronounce, I can't talk. <laughs> I wish I could pronounce the Archangel names, but they are just, they something else. And so this cult is being exposed. Because it says, identifies traitors and destroys their uh, plans. Submission to a higher order. So spirit has stepped in here, the will of fortune. That's divine time and that's the hand of spirit taking over. No human, no mortal can um, intercept the will of fortune. It's going to spin however it spins. It's unpredictable. Expect the unexpected. So I feel like something is crashing down on somebody. Somebody's, this group, this cult, this coven, whatever it is, um... They've been trying to keep you. Maybe that's why you have the contrast of the black and white. And remember, I talked about the whole thing with purity, right? So for some of you, I feel like what ha what's happening here is you're unraveling whatever this soul tie is to this person or this group. And it could be by way of marriage, okay? It could be their family or their friend circle. I don't know what they're into, but something ain't right about them. Um, we have the six of swords here. Yep. Your, your spirit guides are right here. This is Aquarius en energy. Number 63. The gentle God is the perception of unity and protects against accidents and heals the sick. Okay. Six of Swords talks about you leaving a trauma bond. So I see you getting your independence from a trauma bond. Setting yourself free. Some of y'all need to like go um, get this person's energy out of your home if they were living with you or you moved out, sage all your stuff, smudge yourself, like do whatever you need to do to get this person's energy off of you because I do feel like this person is trying to like be stuck to you. Okay, be mindful of things they may have given you, gifts they may have given you, stuff like that that you might need to burn, baby, burn. Remember I told you here this card is giving me like burn this down that's just what i keep hearing it's like something actually needs to be burned or maybe salted like you know you can use salt to purify there's something about purifying your energy i feel like even your stuff your possessions what's erotic love with closure so i feel like you cut this person off physically yeah nine of swords <laughs> i feel like you definitely cut them off they could have betrayed you it says the comforting god number 15 number 15 is actually the devil and that's capricorn energy it says purification didn't i just say purify everything Purification and protection from the impious, religious sentiments. The Nine of Swords talks about betrayal, backstabbing energy, bad mouthing, okay? Talks about a dark night of the soul as well, okay? Not sleeping very well at night, having nightmares. It also talks about trauma, um, feeling traumatized or just trying to figure out what the purpose of your life is. I told you, I feel like, she, I feel like she's closed out a cycle that's been a long time coming. But it's like, okay, now I got to pick up the pieces and figure things out on my own. You are being watched over, though, by a guardian. But I also feel like there's a very watcher kind of spirit around you in a negative way. So what is this? I feel like when I look at this diamond in her mouth, um, I feel like this could represent a diamond ring, a marriage, or something like that. I mean, it's obviously Cupid. So this could be a new love coming in. I'm going to clarify that. What is the um, the watcher? We have the Ten of Pentacles. This is this person's family, y'all. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. It says, enter and out of work helps one keep their job and protect against disasters. The honorable God. And this number is number 36. Manadel. Maybe that, maybe I'm pronouncing that one right. We have Hario, uh, Manadel, I.E. I'm not going to try to say that. Raphael, I can say that. <laughs> hmm. So this watcher spirit feels like family. Now, this could be somebody in your lineage, your ancestor that's watching over you because this very much talks about uh, your bloodline, your birthright, your lineage, your family traditions. So you could have a family member on the other side really watching out for you. But I also feel like with this nine of swords coming out, coming out with the ten of pentacles, this is betrayal. So there could be a family member here that you can't trust or your person, this person you were committed to or connected to that's in this cult, this coven, whatever's going on with this community that they're living in or a part of. Um, they could be still watching you. Now, let's look at the. You got the magician at the bottom of the deck with the Wild West cowboy. You were dealing with a narcissist. Could be a Gemini, could be a Virgo. Spiritual wisdom and magic helps one gain wisdom and discover hidden secrets. The generous God, number 25. Mm. I'm getting master manipulator and illusionist from that. Yeah, I feel like somebody had the wool pulled over your eyes for a good little while. 
but now you're figuring yourself out. Let's, what is this erotic love? Is this is somebody new. I mean, it's clarifying closure, so I feel like it's something you're ending. Is it somebody new? We have here um, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The praiseworthy God, number six. Um, light of understanding acknowledges, I'm sorry, acquires knowledge and cures illnesses, but it's in reverse. Hmm. So this could be a Virgo. Somebody was giving you mixed messages. Somebody could gamble a lot. This person is not trustworthy or dependable. They're lazy or they're very focused on money, maybe very um, superficial. We have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is this is sex. It is clarifying this desire, this eros, this cupid erotic love. Okay, so somebody here, I feel like this is the cycle you're closing out with possibly a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Virgo for some of you. The patient God, number 30. Fertility and multiplicity protects against despair and helps one be patient. So I feel like you were waiting for somebody to commit to you, settle down, be with you, be fair, be honest, be reliable, dependable, trustworthy, faithful. And you didn't get that from this person with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You cannot trust the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? That could be somebody that's extremely boring, um, dull, right? Really he heavily focused on money, prioritizing money and other things over you, or just somebody who gambles a lot, or just not committed, lazy, lacking ambition. Maybe they don't want to work. Maybe they think their sex keep people connected to them. Yeah, so this is the, the past person that you were, the past person that you're releasing here. They could still be watching you, though. Yeah, the five of swords. This person is a sore loser. This person is small-minded. Could be an Aquarius. Number 62. God, the highest being. Desire to know and the um, acquisition of wisdom. Number two of wands and the emperor. I feel like you're detaching from this emperor. Somebody here wanted too much domination and control over you. Could be an Aries. Strong Aries coming out. Political authority. Remember, we have position of authority over here. It gives safe travel and protects against conspiracies. And then we have love and wisdom, victory over those who would attack you. Mm -hmm. So you're detaching from somebody here who was really um, domineering. 42 and 2 and 62 are here. So again, ages, birth dates, those numbers just could be significant for some reason. Uh, let's get a piece of advice and close this out. Lord, these readings are a trip. And my spirit for my Gemini's. We have dragon, passion. See, this is what this person relies on. The dragon is a reminder of your strong will and fiery personality. Well, there you go right there. Some of you can have Leo placements in your chart. Or you could be dealing with one. Okay, now the Gem Gemini does actually represent dragon energy. Um, it is also a symbol of passion and fire. You are being asked to practice self-control. That's what the, <laughs> the strength card is. And be cautious so that passion does not lead you into trouble. I told you. There's somebody here that uses sex as a weapon, baby. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have dog, loyalty. You've been very loyal. You may be feeling like those around you let you down or are not doing their fair share of work. This comes as a reminder that loyalty exists and you must not settle for anything less. You deserve better than mixed signals. Didn't I tell y'all that Knight of Pentacles in reverse is somebody giving you mixed messages? Y'all, they're not trustworthy. They're not loyal. And you have been. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. And that is where we're going to end this reading. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. This is just a catalyst for you to grow, for you to become more empowered. That's all it is, okay? Um, I'll see you all next time. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Peace.